Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat and I like to read. So today's video, we're just gonna be unboxing a bunch of the subscription boxes I got over the last month. So I have Illumicrate, Fairy Loot, and the Goldsboro Science Fiction and Fantasy Fellowship. Quite a few of these boxes that I have are for several months in the past, but unfortunately shipping has been a nightmare lately. So they literally only all came in like within the last few weeks. So to start off with, I'm just going to do the boxes that, that only had books included. And yeah, let's dive in. So the Fairy Loot Adult February box. Yeah, this was February. We got The Adventures of Amina al Sarafi by S.A. Chakraborty. This edition is ridiculously beautiful. So I'll just share that. Beautiful sprayed edges and then Okay, there's like so much, so much about this edition that I'm absolutely in love with. So, one second. So, the actual hardback is so ridiculously beautiful. And this really, I feel like it's giving me the vibes of like a classic book. And I kind of just want to keep it like this on my shelf. And then gorgeous, gorgeous inside edges and like this is gilded, which I've never, never seen somebody actually like put that much effort into just the inside pages. And then same for the back. So I believe this takes place in the same world as the Devabad trilogy, which really, really beautiful fantasy trilogy that takes place uh, in like 1800s Egypt. Really love that one. I'm almost, almost done that whole series. I still have like, I don't know, I think like 30% in the audiobook of the last book, but really loved what I'd read from it. So a bit about the synopsis of this book. We are following, following Amina al Sarafi, who is a retired pirate. So she's an older woman. She's past her prime, her prime. Yeah, she has retired from the life of piracy and is now, I believe, still working on her boat, but she's offered a job that she cannot refuse. So it's like one final adventure, bringing the crew back together and going on this like wild chase. Really, really excited for this one. Really excited for this one. Everything I'm hearing so far says that it's really beautiful. I love that trope of like one last adventure from a crew getting back together and I'm really anticipating that I'm gonna love this. So yeah, so that was the February Fairy Loot Adult book. And now next I have three months of the Goldsboro Science Fiction Fantasy Fellowship. This is a monthly subscription where it's usually a, a special edition of a fantasy or sci-fi book. Um, I've noticed typically it's historical fantasy. I purposely went and only got three months of this subscription because I just wanted to try it out. I haven't read any of the books yet, but I'm planning on doing a video soon of it. Yeah, just based off the fact that it's all of the books I have right now, I believe are historical fantasy. I'm uh, not super excited, but let's look at these because the editions are beautiful. So first off, we have The Witch and the Tsar. Really pretty edition. This, I believe, is a Baba Yaga retelling. So it takes place in like the 1900s Russia. Um, what does it say? Yeah, Laga, Yaga lives deep in the Russian forest, tending to any that call upon her for healing potions and vast wisdom. So she has a sire who comes out and asks her for aid, and then she goes on an adventure to look through it. Oh, so actually it's a 1600 Russia. I am wrong. <laughs> yeah, it upends the stories we know of Baba Yaga as the bony-legged witch of the Slavic fairy tales and the stuff of nightmares. For beyond the rumors of her iron nose, fangs for teeth, and house on chicken legs, is the story of a woman so wise and strong that she had to be cloaked in lies to hide her true nature. Not sure, not sure how excited I am for this one. Again, like historical fantasy, not really my thing, but I will probably this month, I believe, I'm gonna be giving this a try. So it was kind of crazy, like all of these shipments, all three of the months all came in in March. It's a little bit ridiculous that like this is how the shipping is at the moment. But anyways, so February book is Shield Maiden. This one, okay, again, I'll show the sprayed edges. That's pretty much all it is for the special edition on these ones I've noticed is just sprayed edges and some of them more intricate than others. So this one is a Beowulf type of retelling. So quick description. Having grown up hearing tales of her uncle, the great King Beowulf, Frida's one desire is to become a shield maiden in her own right. Yet a terrible childhood accident has left Frida disabled. Thus she believes thwarting her dreams of becoming a warrior woman for good. But still somehow she feels an uncontroll uncontrollable power begin to rise within herself. So it's just that. A woman who is trying to find her own power and become a warrior. Another historical fantasy again we'll see <laughs> and then the last of the goldsboro books this one is for march i just got this in the other day and it is the book of eve i think this is the prettiest edition that i got 
it's not too intricate but i think this is really pretty so this one let's see what it's about okay so it's saying Beatrice is the coven's librarian. For years, she has shunned company of her sisters, finding solace only within her manuscripts. Then one carnival night, two women, bleeding and stricken, are abandoned outside the coven's walls. Moments from death, one of them presses something into Beatrice's hands, a bewitching book whose pages have a dangerous life of their own. But men of faith want the book destroyed, and a zealous preacher has tracked it to her door. Her sister's lives or her obsession? Beatrice must decide. The book's voice is growing stronger, an ancient power in coils. Will she dare to listen? So this is said to be a just a beautiful story of spellbinding and women empowerment and I am really hoping that I like this one. So yeah excited to get to those this month and see how they go. All right so after that I have two months of Illumicrate boxes that came in. So I have January and February's box so let's start with January. So the theme for this month was Journey's End and let's start diving into the objects. Okay, so to start off with, there is a wooden map of the Devabad trilogy from S.A. Shakaborty. This is very pretty. Yeah, it's pretty. I don't really know what I'll do with it, though. And that one is designed by Neil Grant. So next up is a Middle Earth-inspired cutlery set. This is super cute. I'm really excited to use these. So it's just a set of spoons fork and um chopsticks and all of them have i'll show you yeah. so they have like little sayings on it like second breakfast supper 11 z's these are super cute they're gold really really happy to get these um love anything middle earth inspired and this one is in jane tibbetts or at chatty nora on instagram i love when we get the more practical items because i feel like this is something that i actually would keep at my office for the days that i forget to bring cutlery in so i'm actually really happy to have something useful okay and then the next thing is a pencil wrap so here is the design on it this is inspired by an enchantment of ravens and then here's the inside i think this actually could be really nice for makeup brushes when i'm traveling so i'm actually happy about this. Um, this is designed by Abigail Spence, who is at A Spence Art on Instagram. So actually pretty nice. I think that could be very useful for traveling. And the next item is, what is this? Oh, so it is a fanny pack based off the book eaters. I love that. I think that's perfect. Again, like so useful for traveling. I love that so much. This is actually really cute too. I really like the design of it. So this is designed by Vicky Leister, who is at Forensics and Flowers on Instagram. Yeah, this is super cute. I like this a lot. I think I could definitely get a lot of use out of this one too. And the last actual item is a card holder. So this is the design and then it says I won't buy any more books. So liar. <laughs> this is based off of the Saga um, graphic novel series. Haven't read, but I've definitely want to. It's designed by Francisca Stern, who is who is Cover Dungeon Rabbit on Instagram. This is cute. And now the last thing that we actually have left is the book, which is very exciting. So the book for January was God Killer by Hannah Canner. I am really, really obsessed with this, with this cover and the sprayed edges. And basically this um cover art too or like the art on the hardback gorgeous and I don't know it like I really thought the book was gonna have a different type of vibe until I saw this and that makes me very excited so a little bit of description of this book it's Kissin's family were killed by zealots of a fire god. Now she makes a living killing gods and enjoys it. That is until she finds a god that she cannot kill. Skeddy, a god of white laws, has somehow bound himself to a young noble and they are both on the run from unknown assassins. Joined by a disillusion, disillusioned knight on a secret quest, they must travel to the ruined city of Blenregen, where the last of the wild gods reside, to each beg a favor. Pursued by demons and in the midst of a burgeoning civil war, they will all face a reckoning. Somehow, Something is rotting at the heart of the kingdom and, the, and only they can be the ones to stop it. I am very excited for this one. I don't know, I have a good feeling. It uh, feels like something that I am going to really enjoy. So I am very, very happy about that. So for the January box, I think my favorite item might be the cutlery set. 
um, just because I think that this is going to be the most useful for me and I love anything Lord of the Rings inspired so that makes me very excited. Okay and now we are on to the final box which is the February Illumigrate. So theme of this month is Into the Fire. All right first item I see here is a zipper charm. Okay uh, oh that's cute. Okay so I'm guessing this is inspired by Legendborn. Let me just check. Okay yeah so this is inspired by Breeze Pendant in Legendborn. Honestly, just assume that based on the color of the background. Um, so this one, let's, yeah, that was a bit closer. Um, this is designed by Victoria Alicia, who is at Alicia's World on Instagram. Okay, next up we have a water bottle, which I have one that I received in a box this summer, and I use it literally all the time, so very excited. Oh, okay, and this one has like a um, cover for it, which is wonderful because I'm always I'm always worried that I'm gonna break these glass bottles, so I'll just show that. And then let's take a look at the water bottle itself. Oh, very pretty too. So here is the quote. It says, a book too can be a star, a living star to lighten the darkness, leading out into the expanding universe. And there we go. And this is a beautiful. So this one, it is, okay, it's a fandom neutral water bottle inspired by the theme of the month. It was designed by Fez Inkwright, who is at Ross Daughter on Instagram. Very, very excited to have that. Okay, next item. I think this one's going to be my favorite. I'm really excited. So this is a book lamp. I've seen this on Instagram and I am ridiculously excited to have it. So first off, here is the artwork on it. And this is designed by Daughter of the Moon Goddess. And then when you open it up, ah, okay, I love this so much. This is so cute. And I think, yeah, it's different colors every time you open it. That's amazing. I'm obsessed. I am so happy to have this. I think this is one of the most unique items I've ever received and definitely don't have anything like this in my life. So I'm so happy. This is designed by Chatty Nora. Okay, really, like I don't think anything else can top that ever. That was amazing. Okay, and last item is a book jacket. Love these. I love having these just to protect your hardback books. Wonderful when you're like out on the go. This one is inspired by the Poppy War. Specifically, it's the Vermilion Bird of the South. I haven't read the trilogy yet, so I don't actually know anything about that. And this one is designed by Paul Hantme. Yeah, love having these. I have a few of them now and I just use them all the time. And the last thing we have is the book now. So for this month, we got Song of Silver, Flame of Night by Emily Wenzel. And it's so beautiful. Oh my god. Illumicrate has really been killing it with their editions this year and I'm so impressed with all of them. So here is the inside artwork. Oh okay and then the hardback. This is gorgeous. Let's see if I can do it like this. Okay yeah that is ridiculously beautiful. Yeah they are killing all of these editions. Okay so description of the book. In a fallen kingdom, one girl carries the key to discovering the secrets of her nation's past and unleashing the demons that sleep at its heart. Once Leanne had a different name, now she goes by the one the Al Alentian colonizers gave her. She spends her days scav scavenging for remnants of the past, for anything that might help her understand the strange mark burned into her arm by her mother in her last act before she died. No one can see the mysterious mark until a night Zen appears at the tea house and saves her life. Zen is a practitioner, one of the fabled magicians of the Last Kingdom, whose abilities were rumin rumored to be drawn from the demons they communed with. Magic believed to be long lost, magic to be hidden at all costs. Both Lan and Zen have secrets buried deep within. Fate has connected them, but their destiny remains unwritten. Both hold the power to liberate their land and both hold the power to destroy it. Sounds very good and I am very excited. So favorite item of this box, without a doubt, the book light. This is so cool. I'm so excited about it. And I'm also going to give this the favorite item of this entire unboxing because like I don't think anything can compare. The book I'm the most excited for, I think it would have to be The Adventures of Amina al Sarafi. Just this is an author I know I like. I know I like this world and I have really good faith that I'm going to like this one. So yeah, definitely this is one that I'm predicting will be my favorite. The one that I'm least interested in, I think I'm going to give to The Book of Eve. This is one that like I just haven't, haven't heard anybody at all talk about it and 
the description doesn't really sound that interesting to me. So there you have it. That was a gigantic unboxing of a lot of books, a lot of subscriptions, and yeah, let me let me know down below what your favorite object was and what book you like the most, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. So, bye! <laughs>